All righty, here we go. We're back. Had minor camera difficulties there. So uh, we are going to be also reporting on our newest episode, which will be beginning tomorrow to air on Nikos, uh, Nikos RPG. Uh, the series will be called Eastern Skies, and it will be centered in the city of Bergoket. Now, some of this is news that was reported in previous weeks, so it's going to be somewhat of an update. These are news stories that will affect the actual playtime each uh, week, as uh, already indicated in this case, Burgle Cut is uh, Eastern Skies. So the first thing to note is that the Oculus Observatory has reported what appears to be a, an astral anomaly. And in the term of asters here, do remember that in, Ni in the world of Nikos, stars are called asters in particular. And so an astral anomaly is only referring to something strange being seen within the skies. Over the, over, over the city of Burgokat in particular. The Oculus was built between, the first, between this iteration and the last by a group of rather industrious tinker gnomes and uh, dwarven engineers, Grim and uh, Grundum in particular. And so this will be the first time the observatory will be uh, available for the, the operable public to uh, use, and so we will see how this comes out. Uh, furthermore, there was a curiosity seen in the city center in the last couple of days, a species as yet unrecognized and certainly not part of either the Marowin or Bothra King life form elements of the sect gen, has been seen wearing an, an oddly specific tightly fitting clothing that seems to be reminiscent of the others of the previous iteration and of the mirror of the current age. So there has been much speculation about what that being or that species represents, and so we will be engaging in further exploration into who they might be. Now, the Captain's Alliance of Burgokut has called for explorers as they this iteration's exploration of the uh, Black's, uh, Black Waters has begun, and this call for explorers includes both uh, surface vessels and airships, and so there will be uh, quite a bit of buzz over the next few weeks as the vessels prepare for these adventures. The, uh, cons the consulate of Burgokut, the uh, burghers, the, co the, cor the, the quorum of burghers, has agreed to put up a, a bounty or a warrant for the establishment of another headquarters or base on foreign soil and so this will be perhaps one of the greatest explorations of our known times and indeed may be a considerable risk so be aware of that circumstance and take that into account when you're making your plans the trade leagues have confirmed record yields this year as there has been virtually no conflict in the last several seasons and as such this applies to just about every category of goods across the board from foods to hard hard supplies and minerals and such so with this in the in the in the case the uh, profitability for all of them have increased and so there's been some consideration of raising taxes for the first time in 300 years but there has also been some reference to what may be a possible return of snowfall to the Shatterhorn Mountains. If true, this will be the first snows in three centuries and may herald the end of this apparent drought and drier period that we are dealing with. And this will be a interesting era indeed for the future if there is indeed snow returning to the mountains. And we will, of course, keep you in. in uh, in the know going forward on that subject. Now, the Jubilethans have indeed set the first caravanserai, and they are calling for it to be uh, in Kralim, which means that a trek from here to that event is a travel of something like uh, three months via caravan or perhaps a little bit less by airship. And so the call for the first caravanserai has been heard 
here in Burgocut, but whether or not any of the local brethren will be going to this event or not is yet to be seen. Now, in this same period of time, it is interesting to note that there are several dignitaries of Anchorage that have visited the city and are here in dealing with peace talks concerning the uh, the Blinn Bluffs between here and uh, the city of Anchorage and what should be done concerning the increasingly violent number of raids being perpetrated by the Blinn of the region. There will be more information again to this when we get the reports that the Anchorage dignitaries bring with them, and so we will bring that to you as soon as that information is available. Now, as we are entering the Prismas season, the Prismas worshipers are beginning to gather in the uh, various homes and longhouses of their established faith communities, and so there will be a something of a thanksgiving celebration concerning the appreciation of and embracing of the message of the broadcaster and the messages that have been brought by his voice. So this will be including several interpretations of his vocal patterns and images, so be aware that that will be available. Uh, also be aware that the clock tower renovations are continuing that the deadline for repairing it has indeed passed with the first of uh, this month. And so therefore, the uh, builders and repair teams are now over scheduled. And so there will be more information about this in the near future. The slated opening for the uh, repaired clock tower was November 1st, but it may actually be pressed back to the 5th. So we will keep you advised to that in the future. So this has been Nyko's Nightly News your game host, with your host, Game Master J. We do have a secondary bonus feature tonight that we are going to be dealing with um, of creative differences. I'll be putting that schedule up in the screen, but until then, I want to thank you for participating in the show. If you like what you've seen so far, make sure you follow this on disc on Twitch, and if you haven't yet, make sure you take a gander over at our YouTube page at Nikos RPG and subscribe there for more updated information from all of our different broadcasts.